Welcome. It's the 16th of June, 2023. This is Documentation Office Hours. Topics for today, Google Summer of Code, errors in the 2.401.1 changelog, pull request from Jeffrey Chen, a blog post review and a draft PR. And we may want a discussion or, a, whoops, a discussion and review of Java 7, 11 to Java 17 changes in the documentation. Just to, to that, that might be a good group exercise for us. Any other topics you want to add to the list? Nope. Okay, then let's roll. All right. So, First item is on Google Summer of Code. Chris, any specific topics there or, or areas of concern? Yep, because we have we finally have a preview site, uh, and I just shared a link to the chat, so you can see it's a like it's um, a Google um, no, no, it's a GitHub Pages website. Great. All right. So, and is that that's in the chat? So let's open it up. Okay. Nice. Okay, so we've got installing and using and pipeline and blue ocean and managing. Now there was there was one thing I noted. I think I saw that. Oh, okay. Videos are there. I thought I had seen that there were some missing pictures though. So yeah, I did. I did. I did. I did contact uh, and did to fix it, but um, he's of wage for the moment. Okay. So so there there are this one for instance was a highlight of oh there's a picture missing, but this is looking great and I love the left hand navigation. Okay. That that feels really okay. Now down here in the bottom left there is the version the version navigation experience. Have you been have you been exploring that at all, Chris, to see how it feels? Yeah, I have. And what's what's your observation? <clears throat> I think it's a, a little bit different from what we have right now, but I think it's okay for now. So what what I see here is okay, he calls user documentation 2.1. And then if I switch to developer documentation, it shows it as default and it presents a different a different interface. Now, oh, oh, and he retained the work in progress warnings. Oh, nice. Ah. Okay, now, okay, but this, now this does change the ordering, right? So is, do you know if it's intentional that he's altered the ordering? Um, I'm not sure. Maybe I should ask him. Okay. So the reason, the reason I ask is I had done an update to when we, and he's got the updated content. So that's, that's really quite encouraging. The updated content is here and it looks like the navigate. Oh, okay. So that navigation link. So, so yeah. links across from one to another, but this, oh no. And that one doesn't. Okay. That one a little bit surprises me. So the, the crowd in integration on the other page is immediately below internationalization and, lo and localization. I think, I think we still need to work on that a bit more. Maybe okay. one more week or two, two more weeks. And, and, but the, the, it, the presentation looks really quite nice. And so it's still got the page to page navigation that we had before on the and i think we only had that on the on the the handbook not on the developer site let's do a quick check okay so when i look no no not that sorry when i look at this one the handbook has for instance across the top here the page to page and section to section navigation yeah and and oh, this yeah. gives us that same thing here with if I remember right, it's at end of page. Yeah, yep. so page to page navigation is there. And I've got a tree view here at the top. Yep. And I can go home. So then it takes me back to user documentation. Nice. 
I see the upper right contents. If we, we I, I'm better. Has that been added for a long time? We did not have those in developer docs. The the you mean the yes. the table of contents here? Uh huh. So let's go look at the developer docs. That's a good point. So I don't know that they're in. Oh, it is. Okay, it's in developer I docs. It's developer, yeah. There it is. You're right. Okay, so there is Which a table. Also, of... more than for reading, that gives you the the ability to link into a subsection on the pages. Well, and notice that it's stable on the right hand side. Oh yeah. While I'm traveling, so so that's that's really quite elegant. Yes. Okay. Oh, kudos, kudos. Now the the references section. Yeah, I I, I guess this makes sense. Although I suspect we want to, we may want to take off the colon off the end, but that looks great. And those references go outside the site. So they're behaving as we expect. Yeah. Very nice, Chris. And now that's impressive. So, so okay. So when I scroll downwards, notice that the footer does become visible. And wow. then the footer disappears but this stops scrolling and stays nicely at the bottom of the screen yep very nice that's good i'm impressed nice work okay and does you know does the edit this page give me it does so it takes me right into it. nice very nice okay where was that colon you wanted to get rid of it was let's see where was that it was in the references in the developer documentation so if we go to something oh. that has references like this and that's oh, a minor thing should, no no i was going to say something like that let's throw in a let's edit it let's oh oh happens. i see what you're saying let's see if we can do the yeah, edit i, just, I right remember there. that was one thing that would be a trivial change right so interesting idea a so if we paragraph on a throwaway right there you go okay yeah so here it's remove trailing from heading. And the reason is Mark Waite doesn't like the trailing colon. There's no other justification for it. <laughs> this is just Mark's opinion. Opinion I mode I could off. give more of a justification, but I like that. All right. And we'll commit it to a branch. And we're going to call it remove trailing colon okay okay and there's the pull request submitted nice hey that was a pretty that was a that was as every bit as smooth an experience as any edits on the other site yes yeah. now is the site currently re representing uh versions by branches what's his what's his pattern been to to represent versions um i would have to talk to Mandit a bit about it because like i want to have like um at least the current version pointing to us like where it should be mm -hmm. so it's like um maybe for for now it's like are we at 40 which number are we at we're 2.410 actually okay. let's test the let's test the navigation links at the top Okay, so so doesn't have the implementation for the navigation links. Yeah. Nice. Okay. That is that is a great piece of work, Chris. Very nicely done. Yeah, I'm impressed too. Uh, yeah, very very nice. Okay. Anything else you'd like to highlight here, Chris? um not much but um i just want to say we did work on a whole night to get it out because like there were some issues with the documentation for github pages because like um for our setup we, we need to do something extra oh okay so there were some complexities in getting this into github pages yep because i tried a bunch of times before it worked 
Oh, interesting. Okay. But as far as you can tell, it's fully functional now. So is is what it's showing us is a representation of the master branch from GitHub pages or some combination? No, just master branch. But okay. The, the output goes to the GH pages branch and the JX pages branch is where we're pointing to. Oh, oh, right. Of course. Yeah. So they've got this concept that your master branch, you then publish by merging to or pushing to a GH pages branch. Yep. Yep. Right. Nice. And I assume that the tutorials and okay, so so fixing links is probably a future activity. Yep. Oh, and there's an interesting one. So include directives. I assume that's also a oh, but it's got his concept of partials in it, right? I think so, yeah. Interesting. I want to see how that page looks. Partials. Oh, there it is. Okay, so so that markup, and that's new style markup. That's not the markup that I'm accustomed to from Ostruct. Okay. Good. Very nice, Chris. Congratulations. Thank you. Any other items you want to show? Um, don't think so, no. Okay. Oh, I like the visual look of that. So is is this color the 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 black on blue or black on is that yeah. for code? For everything, because like I think I think last time we saw the images, it, it was a bit skewed due to um the compute. I think it was a monitor or computer display. I think there's um like local version, so it's like it looks a bit different from the from what we see in reality. Okay. Good. Very very nice. Well done. Okay, let's put a. Let's put a link to this site into the into the notes so that anybody can get to it. And it really doesn't even need, if I just open that much of the page, it will take me there, right? So if I go here, yeah, okay, good. Nice work. Any topics on other Google Summer of Code projects? So the Docker Compose project uh, with Ashutosh. Yep. Any further word from Ashutosh on, on that? I think he's working on some jobs, according to him. Some oh, jobs. good. OK. So, he got one example working. Uh, that's the last time I heard from him. Very good. All right. Okay, and GitLab plugin modernization. That one's been on pause while uh, Harsh works on exams, right? Quizzes. Yeah, two quizzes. Sorry, say that again. Um, he said quizzes, so two quizzes. Surprise. Oh, quiz. I see. All right. Yeah. Paused for, for quizzes at university. Okay. All right. Good. Very, very good. Any, any other topics on Google Summer of Code? No. Nope. Okay, so next point was last time we noted there were some errors in the 2.401.1 change log. They're fixed and merged. Oh, good. So we did that to earlier today in Docs Office Hours Europe. Next topic then is the review of Jeffrey Chen's wiki migration proposal. So Meg, I see you've done a bunch of reviews. And as far as I can tell, Jeffrey has, has adapted to your reviews. And then he's got a few. Of them. Um, is there really nothing about move copy or config.xml in these docs? 
I let's let's check, but I'm not aware of anything about looking. move or copy. Um, do you have is is anything being done with the Jenkins training materials? Uh, training materials like nothing from nothing from the Jenkins project that I'm aware of. Tell me more of what you're asking. Well, I think we had material about move copy in there that wasn't wonderful, but better than nothing if we wanted to steal text and. Oh, stock. oh, I see. Yeah. So, well, and since that that's a cloud bees thing, so I'm not sure. We could certainly ask them if they'd be willing to share it. Let us let us put it in. Let me see if we can find something with Google search. Jenkins job move or copy. How to clone a job. How do I clone? Okay, so stack overflow. How do I move a job? Oh, here we go. Uh-huh. Okay, so. So there's something we could embed, right? We've right. got, Darren is more than happy to let us embed his, uh, so we've got how to clone a Jenkins job and how to move a Jenkins job to a folder. So we've got copy and we've got move both. And so, so how about for, given that, I'm going to copy a link to that here. Let's just open it up and copy a link to the video. Okay, back to your question. So uh, copy slash move video, copy video available from Bar Darren Pope. This is for line 55 of um, administering dice Jenkins dot adoc. Okay, so, hang on just a minute. So okay. that was move. And where is copy? There's copy. Okay. Uh -huh. And it's current enough. Okay. There we go. So copy this one. And where did I put my notes? Oh, here they are. Good. Okay. And you said where where should that go? Um, there's a comment that for line um around 55 of oh, okay here we go right administering jenkins there we go oh oh yeah this is okay this is this is just flat wrong right while i appreciate that somebody in the days of of xml said this is the only only way to do it let's fix this by embedding a video <laughs> Okay, so how do we? Yeah, we actually, actually yeah, we don't, we don't, we, I, I think we don't, well, let, let's get the text there. We definitely don't want to tell people to use file system operations when they could just. Okay, so this, I think, needs to be split needs to split into there are three distinct operation three distinct sections one each for move copy and rename and then embed describe move describe each and embed describe each briefly and embed uh, Darren Pope videos. Okay, so there was this one's the clone, which is copy, right? Copy a job move a job and i don't remember i will have to see if he's got one that is rename a job how to I'm, okay have we given up are we using job to refer to pipelines now too 
Yeah, yeah, a job is a generic reference to pipeline or freestyle. Okay. Where there's there's some noise in the glossary about the word project, but truthfully, um, I find jobs simpler and easier, and so I've caved in and said I don't want to fight with trying to use the word project. Yeah, no. But I wouldn't. Yeah. I don't know. There's a part of there's a part of me that would like the titles of those sections to be move a job or pipeline. Oh, 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 yes. Move it. Just to have the word pipeline up there. Because I think okay. a certain, we've we've had enough problems with it that if I want to rename my pipeline or copy my pipeline and I see something about copying a job, I'm not sure it applies. Oh, oh, really? Okay. So I'm hesitant to to confuse. I think that confuses for me. So so let's talk talk further because I think for me, job and job covers both pipeline and freestyle and several other types. Yeah, and it always I you I I would talk to people who regularly talk to customers. Uh huh. Them. Okay. Um. Because as I, you know, my knowledge sort of got frozen at a certain point in the wars. So, and, you know, there were religious. Right. We may need either a broader title. Like move a job or pipeline. What would you also be okay if we had or include very early in the text that would work in the text that this text that this applies to freestyle pipeline and oh no let's start with pipeline pipeline freestyle and other job types yeah and then for those mutants who read the docs from top to bottom, they will be rewarded. Well, and actually, let's go with it. Freestyle to pipeline, multi-branch, organization folders, Oops. And other job types. There we go. Yeah. Okay. All right. Good. Okay. I'll rename a job. We I don't see. Rename a job Good in job Jenkins. It. There we go. Thank you, Darren. As <laughs> always, that's great. So stop that one. Copy the video URL. Very good. All right. Cool. Okay. So that now I still think that we don't want this in a new page, right? It needs to find another home, yeah. but, but the content and the content split can be two different operations. It looks like he's going to ask us where then. Yeah. I, and I'm fine with that because I think that's something we need to choose uh, and I think we're better suited than than Jeffrey is to decide that. Let's look to see. Okay, so we've got right now, we've got copy, move, and rename a job. And we've got a description of the directory structure of the Jenkins homepage or the Jenkins home folder. Where where do you think it makes sense? So let's go look at the, the candidates. So we've got... Um, managing Jenkins has managing tools, managing plugins. And it's got this empty section called configuring the system. Oh. What if we put it there? What well, if this start? No, I, well, I'm thinking of config.xml. Right. Configuring the system. I don't know if moving, moving, copying, renaming is, do you consider that configuring or? Well, so, so I was thinking, what if the description of Jenkins home went into the configuring the system page? Okay. But we don't, uh, the other stuff, I'm not so sure. So back up and restore, ah. we just delete. 
and then now we look for a new another home for a move copy rename okay and yeah. and does does that sound yeah that's visible? yeah right i i didn't see move copy rename under configuring i got confused there right right and, and i think i agree with you there now the question is where would it go so these these things tend to be tend to be oriented towards at least these top level things are about selections in the manage manage jenkins page right mm -hmm, right and so then maybe we look under system administration for move copy rename because we've got backup restore monitoring administering the manage jenkins screens don't have move copy restore or rename uh no not really not if i remember right here let's look and see because because rename move copy and rename apply to jobs and there actually aren't any jobs on those pages okay so let's let's look just to be sure but when i look for instance at tools no move copy rename because there's not even a left hand uh, left hand menu there's not a, a sidebar on that or on the now on the plugins page there's a sidebar but nothing to do with move copy or rename huh i thought i remembered something on the ui someplace but well I'm... certainly any job page so for instance here if i click this folder it's got a rename right oh. and it's got a move and then if I click on a specific job inside the folder, it's got to move and it's got to rename. Okay. And then was the top? Seems like there was one of them that you couldn't do on pipelines that you, but that doesn't, that huh. doesn't make sense. Well, so so certainly there are uh, there are things, for instance, if I attempt to do, let's show an example. If I attempt to take a multi-branch pipeline job. So Git client plugin folder has a thing called the GitHub Git client branches. These branch, these jobs are actually maintained automatically. So when I click to them, there is no move copy, no move or rename. Okay. And that's because the job is the job's creation and destruction is managed by the multi-branch pipeline. Uh-huh. I haven't seen copy go by. Is there something? No, because copy is, and Darren will teach this in his in his video. Copy is really a new item, and then I pick the kind of thing I want, and I can type it here, like okay. uh, Jenkins dash. Let's see. I I really need it to scroll up so we can read it. Jenkins dash one. I was hoping it would give me a prompt. No luck. There we go. Matrix labels and nodes. I, if I want to copy that job, I click OK, and now I've copied it. And so maybe logically, I was seeing these three go together, but maybe that's right. So wherever we're telling them how you're creating, because basically you're creating a new job. It just happens to be a copy of an existing one. Correct. That's right. So where are we telling them how to create a new job that that's where copy would go? Oh, oh, good, good idea. Okay, so let's see, see what we've got then. So is that under using? Uh, I don't see anything there under, it would seem like thinking using thinking. would be a good place for it. And yet there's nothing there that, that I think matches with create, well, there's a reason we have a search engine. Ah. Okay, we've got create a pipeline in Blue Ocean, yeah. but not, and that is has the the warning that says, "Hey, we're not doing any further enhancements to this." So I don't think that's a a good yeah. choice. How about new item? No. How about create a job? How about create a pipeline? Yeah. Yeah, In just it's always yeah. So I I suspect. Well, if we okay, if we look at tutorials, we certainly have some tutorials that will take us through that. 
but I'm not sure we would want to point them to a tutorial for a general description. So it may mean that we need a description of creating a job. Yeah. Because that seems like a logical thing for using Jenkins, right? New uh -huh. item. Or maybe it's, yeah, create a job, creating a job. And, and maybe, maybe that if, what if in a creating a job page, we had create, rename, um, move, and copy. So all, what if we had all of them? Yeah, it kind of, kind of makes sense. And I mean, nobody knows how the drops are structured. They're, they're going to use search. <laughs> make sure that we've got them so search will find what we want it to find right oh oh no but okay now now here i'm being proven wrong so here is referencing another project by name not a job but a project and here no word no reference to project or job or project so i'm not seeing anything that gives strong but I also don't see any use of the word job in these headlines. Right. They There's at least put, one usage of project. They wouldn't have put it under installing Jenkins, would they? I don't think so. Let's check. I would hope not, but. Yeah, let's see. Is project there? Nope. Just in the heading. Okay. What about job? Okay. No use of the word job on this page good okay so it looks like the word project is at least used here so maybe we do go with project rather than job so let's edit and move a project copy a project rename a project mm. Yeah, and run this by Kevin because he's doing the active writing. See where he would put it. Right, right, exactly. At K. Martins, uh, what do you think? Job or project for the description or, or the noun? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, good. All right, so back to the we think we think this one. All right, so this Okay, at the Jenkins home directory. We think the Jenkins home directory section belongs in, where was it? It was in, was it in using Jenkins? No. Oh, it's in, where, where, wait, am I off here? What am I missing? Managing? There it is. Managing Jenkins, configuring the system. Is this still okay with you, Meg? You think that will be reasonable? Yeah. Well, anything would be better than what we've got. Yes, at least show right. us how to plug that. And then do we, are there, I think config.xml could use some more information. Is there anything else in that structure that needs? Yeah, so that I don't know. Let's see. That page can be switched to no longer be a work in progress. Yeah. Okay. Now you said config.xml. So is there, are there some references to config.xml in this? Oh, there was, oh, where are you? Okay, so there's the root configuration file. And there's a job configuration file. And a folder configuration file. Okay, and this thing, 
um, the backup and restore section is already where well covered. Yeah. Delete from this pull request. Okay. Okay, so then Oh, oh, now help me help me out here. So where did we where did we we said we wanted a new page? We think this is best done as a new page, right? New okay. page under Okay, was it under the managing or using it was using right maybe that because well using sort of seems like that would that should be the first one right that's got the most remedial stuff in it right it's got okay here how do you abort a build how to use fingerprints so for me so under using jenkins okay and what do we call it? So it was defining projects or operating on projects. Well, we actually say you're creating a new because for any of them you're sort of creating a new or I yeah. So know. creating projects, maybe I don't know. I don't feel strongly, and our titles are not my strong suit. Okay, let's do this, and we can fix it later. Yeah. Under using Jenkins, right? Yeah. We're open to other title ideas. If there are better phrases, better words to describe the create, read, update, Delete process for Jenkins projects. Yeah, that using Jenkins is almost a bigger mess than managing. Yes, it is. There, like there the are first lots thing of... is using credentials. Is that really? Yeah, that's why I think I think creating projects is is more valuable than using credentials, and we don't have a page for creating projects, right? Yeah, uh, it should oh. proceed. Although, look at the top level of using Jenkins. Oh, okay. Paragraph two is if you want to create and configure a pipeline project through a Jenkins file or through Blue Ocean, or you wish to find out more about these core Jenkins, is that a lowercase j? I don't know. Um, refer to the relevant topics within the respective pipeline and Blue Ocean chapters. So there, there is, but I still think there is room for a, this, this is good. I, I won't dispute. I like that. But and it gets them into this into those sections. But I think uh, basic operations on jobs on projects correctly belongs before using credentials. Huh? God, you're persnickety. If <laughs> That's you want to be, if you want to be that way, you know. <laughs> I'm glad to hear that you're willing to cave for me on this. That you're willing to give up and just give me my way. Thank you, May. What? What I cannot pull my head away is I'm not, I think it's a generational thing that I always think of this in order. And I think maybe younger people think of it all random and it doesn't matter. No, but I think, I think it, we owe it to ourselves to put it in order. And I agree that using credentials isn't the first thing. Yeah. Aborting a build is actually useful, but probably needs to be above using credentials and after, um, after creating one so you could imagine creating a job creating a project launching a project and then aborting a project or, or aborting a build launching a build and aborting a build would make make good sense yeah that's 
but that yeah and then oh boy it gets okay how to write a pipeline script okay but okay under pipeline under pipeline we do have but where's the information about how you create a freestyle job then it doesn't exist i think it did at one time i think somebody deleted it <laughs> maybe i would be surprised i think it probably exists in the wiki ah maybe it never made it to the documentation or something yeah that'd be my guess yeah i mean if somebody had time i i can see though under the using jenkins that landing page could be expanded a little bit for this and maybe have and then that points to wherever this material is. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. So just like we have a paragraph for pipeline and blue ocean, conceivably after that, we could have a pipe, a paragraph for other job types and point them to freestyle. Uh huh. And what about is mold? Where is moldy branch? Is that under pipeline? It comes under pipeline. Okay. And here we've got we've got things like branches and pull requests that talks about how you use multi-branch. Okay. And yeah, because what I'm thinking, when you search, do we search for create multi-branch job? Multi-branch. So there's a features like multi-branch so there's a blog post and there is multi-branch as a pipeline step but i don't see it's not finding it easily oh wait a sec end-to-end multi-branch pipeline project creation so here's a tutorial okay with a nice obscure type, but it found it. That's okay. It, it 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 found it with enough attempts, right? Right. I mean, it's certainly not doing user 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 handbook multi branch. That is not the thing that I would want to see because this is a pipeline steps detailed reference, and that's just right. not helpful. That's, yeah, In fact, this I one is. This yeah. one is rubbish. I'm wondering what it's for. <laughs> because Perforce Depot Paths. <laughs> where is project. where is this even coming from? Multi-branch. And there's a beta in there. What was this beta? Was this a four-year-old? Right, exactly. I I confess I'm okay. Well, so this is why we have the reference. Let's see if we can get it in context. Multi-branch. Pipeline, multi-branch. Oh, okay. All right. So now, but that didn't really take me to that keyword multi-branch. There, okay, it's an expansion of this thing. Uh -huh. And the reason it's done like that is this is thanks to Vandi, no, not to Vandi, to our last year's Vihan Thora, who, who found a way to reduce these immense page sizes so that they weren't so gigantic right. by using, by removing redundant content. And multi branch is one of those items that's redundant content. Uh -huh. It's the same as, if I remember right, this one, Git has that same pattern. Yeah. And even then, the page is still quite large. I mean, that's taking quite a bit to load. Yeah. Which isn't a surprise. I mean, it's a big topic, so. Right. Yep, exactly. Okay. But, but I think about a new user coming to this. I mean, I get it installed, and then the, if I know anything, it's like, how do I, how do I create a pipeline? And it doesn't seem like it should be that hard to find that information. Right. Yeah. Well, and and certainly we've got tutorials for that, but we don't have in the using thing. Hey, here it is. So, so I think you're right. Or even a point to the tutorial. Mm -hmm. You know. Well, and I thought that I thought that there was a 
no, there isn't a point or two tutorials here. Interesting. And that that certainly could be added to this using Jenkins page is for tutorials, go here, right? Uh -huh. Because we have several and and point people to tutorials. Why not? Right. All right. So we've talked, we've been through copy, move, rename. And now it talks about batch rename, and I am just opposed to that. Is that the one I remember as being only for freestyle? It's it's more than that. It's the instructions only work on Linux. Oh. They don't work on Mac OS. They don't work on Windows. They don't work on FreeBSD. They only work on Linux. So you want to do the powerful stuff? Use a real computer, BFT. Oh, 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 the bigotry. Oh, my sakes. You <laughs> should be ashamed of yourself. And yet I'm not. Isn't that wonderful? And yet, and yet I'm not. <laughs> Which is even worse. You really. I'm being forced to work on it at Apple right now. So it's <laughs> making me bitter. <sighs> okay, let's get this done. All right, so. Okay, this command only works on Linux and has all sorts of dangers, is very dangerous. Mm -hmm. Let's not document it. Okay, now archive unused jobs. Okay, this one. Hmm. This one is terrifying. <laughs> because what it says is go into the jobs directory, make a tar file, and then reload configuration from disk. Well, you didn't do anything that to actually archive it or to so uh. if archival means remove this did no remove right if archive doesn't mean remove then all this did is a fractional backup all this did is a partial backup so yeah, there's no need for reload configuration from disk this this doesn't help doesn't help anything right you don't need mm -hmm. to reload anything from disk because the tar didn't delete anything. Right. And the problem with the technique they've used here of play, leave the tar file in the jobs directory, that's on the hope that the administrator will remember that's where their archives are. Mm -hmm. And I, I suspect there are plugins that will do archiving better than this. Or, the, well, that administrator what about the other administrators or the new administrator when that administrator leaves right exactly oh here we go here's a here's a reference to the shelf project plugin okay and this one we can adjust let's correct so that use the plugin a macro rather than a link. Actually, why would I want to archive something that's in my jobs directory? Is I'm if I want to archive it because I want to save some space, I want to get it out of there and yet have it where I can still get it, don't I? Right. Exactly. You want I think I um let's not describe the tar process. because it doesn't remove the jobs. Right. Um, and doesn't save any space and does not prevent execution of the job. Right. So all it's it done- It doesn't provide is, backup if you had a disastrous system loss too. Right, all if it you, does is a fractional backup. the 
shell project plugin for one way of archiving Jenkins jobs. Okay, now script console, we've already got this described in the using Jenkins or is it managing Jenkins? There's this something one. about it in security too, I think. Yeah, so it's already covered. Yeah. All right, so this one can just be deleted. And that's delete this section. Section already covered in script console. Good. Okay. All right. I have run largely run out of time because, well, because it's getting late for me. Okay. Very late. I'd propose we call ourselves done so that we can mark this as finished if you're okay with it. Absolutely. We've, we've provided some useful comments and some things that Jeffrey can work on further. Right. Okay, so I'm going to note request changes. Excellent. Meg, Chris, thank you very much. Thank you, everybody. And I think I'd propose we call it for today, and I'm going to get some sleep. All right. Sleep well, my friend. Thanks, everybody. <laughs> Bye.